Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to calculate F measure for the given hierarchical clustering. In this case, we have been given 8 objects that is P1 to P8. Initially, all 8 objects are present in cluster 1. Later, they were divided into 2 clusters and these 2 clusters were in turn divided into 4 more clusters over here. Also, class A contains uh, P1, P2, P3 and remaining uh, 5 objects are present in class B over here. Given this particular data, first we need to calculate the precision for each of these particular clusters. Finally, we need to calculate the uh, F measure for the entire cluster over here. To calculate the F measure, uh, we need to know two things. One is uh, recall and the second one is uh, precision here. The recall equation looks something like this. Rij is equal to Nij divided by Ni. Nij is nothing but the number of objects of class A i present in cluster J and Ni is the number of uh, objects uh, present in class I over here. Similarly, the precision formula looks something like this. Precision of Ij is equal to Nij divided by Nj. Nij is again the number of objects of class I present in cluster J divided by the number of objects present in cluster J over here. So, once you know this uh, precision and recall, we can easily calculate the F, uh, F measure here. F measure is equal to 2 times recall multiplied by precision divided by recall plus precision over here. Now uh, we will start with uh, one by one uh, clusters and then we will calculate the F measure. Finally, we will calculate the F measure for entire uh, data over here. So the first cluster contains all 8 objects over here. The class A contains uh, 3 objects that is P1, P2, P3. R A comma 1 that is the recall of uh, class A with respect to cluster 1 is equal to N A1 divided by N A. N A1 is nothing but the number of objects of class A present in uh, cluster 1. So there are 3 objects are present in class A that is P1, P2, P3. All of them are present in uh, cluster 1 hence the numerator is equal to 3 here divided by the number of objects present in class A that is 3 which is equal to 1 here. Precision of A comma 1 is nothing but N A1 divided by N1. N A1 is again uh, 3 over here. N1. N1 is the number of objects present in cluster 1 that is 8. So, 3 by 8 is equal to 0.375. Now, the F measure of A comma 1 is equal to 2 times recall that is 1 multiplied by precision that is 375 divided by 1 plus 0.375 which is equal to 0.55 over here. The next one is uh, class B. The recall of class B with respect to cluster 1 is equal to 5 by 5 because the number of objects present in class B are 5 and all of them are present in cluster 1. So, the numerator is 5, denominator is equal to 5 over here. Precision of B, 1 is equal to 5 by 8 because the number of objects of class B present in cluster 1 is 5 here and the number of objects present in class 1 is 8 over here. So, that is equal to 0.625. Now, the F measure of B comma 1 is equal to 2 times 1 into 0.625 divided by 1 plus 0.625 over here which is equal to 0.77. Now, coming back to the second cluster. Second cluster contains uh, the 4 objects P1, P2, P4 and uh, P5. Now, we will start with class A. So, recall of class A with respect to, to cluster 2 here. Now, how many objects are present in class A? 3 objects. Out of 3 objects, how many are present in uh, cluster 2? P1, P2, P3. Out of P1, P2, P3, P1 is present, P2 is present. So, the numerator is equal to what? 2 over here. Divided by the number of objects present in cluster 2. There are 4 uh, number of objects present in uh, class A actually. That is uh, 3 in this case. So, which is equal to 3 here, 0.667. Precision of A comma 2 is equal to the numerator remains same. Denominator is the number of objects present in this cluster that is 4 here which is equal to 0.5. Once you know these two things we can easily calculate F major over here. Now coming back to the class B. Class B's recall is recall of B comma 2 that is the number of objects of class B present in class uh, cluster 2. Actually, uh, 5 objects are there. Out of 5 objects, only P4 and P5 is present in uh, this particular cluster. So, the numerator is 2 divided by the number of objects present in uh, class B. How many are there? 5 over here. So, denominator is 5 here. 
P of B comma 2 that is precision is equal to again numerator remains same that is 2 divided by the number of objects present in cluster 2. How many are there? 4 here which is equal to 0.5. Once you know these two things we can easily calculate F measure which is equal to 0.44 here. Coming back to the third cluster that is uh, P3, P6, P7 and P8 here and class A. The recall of class A with respect to cluster 3 which is equal to numerator. Numerator is nothing but the number of objects of class A present in cluster 3. P1, P2, P3 are the objects present in class A. Out of 3, only P3 is present here. So, the numerator is equal to 1 divided by the number of objects present in class A. How many are there? 3 here. So, which is equal to 0 0.333 here. Precision of A, 3 is equal to the number of objects of class B, uh, class A present in this particular cluster. Again, it is equal to 1 divided by the number of objects present in this particular cluster are 4 which is equal to 0.5 the f measure of a comma 3 is equal to 0.29 class b contains uh, four five objects the recall of b comma 3 is equal to out of these particular five objects how many are present in cluster 3 uh, we have p6 p7 and p8 uh, that is uh, three objects so the numerator is 3 in this case divided by the number of objects present in class b is 5 that is equal to 0.6 precision of b comma 3 is equal to 3 divided by 4 because uh, 4 objects are present in cluster 3 which is equal to 0.75 f measure of b comma 3 is equal to 0.67 once you know this r and p we can easily calculate this one similarly we have to do this uh, calculation for cluster 4 cluster 5 that is this is the cluster 4 cluster 5 cluster 6 and cluster 7 so the same thing is done for cluster 6 also the same thing is done for cluster 7 also now once you calculate the f measure for all these particular seven clusters we have to calculate the uh, f measure for the entire data set for that reason uh, first what we do here is we will calculate the f measure or we will select the maximum f measure for class a and the maximum f measure for class b over here so maximum among the calculated values is equal to 0.8 for class a maximum among the calculated values for class b is equal to 0.77 so the for class a the f measure is equal to 0.8 for class b the f measure is equal to 0.77 in this case now once you know this particular uh, the f measure for class a and class b we need to calculate the f measure for overall clustering that is equal to summation of i is equal to uh, you can say that 1 to 2 1 to 2 because we have only uh, two classes here so that's the reason we have to take the summation from 1 to 2 and that is uh, class 1 and class 2 you can say or class a class b you can say which uh, that is uh, n i divided by n n i is the number of objects present in ith class divided by the number of uh, objects multiplied by maximum of f i j that is we have already calculated maximum feature for class a maximum feature for class b over here so this can be solved something like this n i n i is you can say that the first class or class a how many objects are there three so three divided by eight multiplied by f a f a uh, plus uh, second one is uh, n 2 n 2 is nothing but the second uh, class, class over here there are five objects so 5 by 8 multiplied by f p 3 by 8 multiplied by 0 0.8 plus 5 by 8 multiplied by 0 0.77 which is equal to 0.78 in this case so the final f measure for the given uh, hierarchical clustering is 0 0.78 in this case so in this video i have discussed how to calculate precision recall and f measure for each of the clusters and how to calculate the overall uh, f measure for the given clustering algorithm i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching